Shalom. Before I begin this video, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Racha Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that continually roll very well to this very day. That's continually feeding the flock through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And uh, Shalom to the whole elect that's continually plowing in his work, giving diligence to make your calling and election sure in faith, true sincerity, and also in all charity. Now, uh, topic of this video is going to be entitled Prepped for the Slaughter. And the reason why, because you have I have this image here that's uh, touching on the subject of uh, bread and circus. Now, the Apostle Elder Ramla uh, did a video concerning bread and circus, you know, a while back. And, you know, that topic holds in an in innumerable amounts of weight because when you talk about bread and circus you know that's another way of saying food and entertainment because that's what this place America which is known as Babylon the Great in the Bible this place is, is uh, juiced up on bread and circus it's juiced up on food you know, you have a restaurant on every corner. You know, that's why uh, if you look at the obesity rate here in America, it's outrageous. All right. And then you have circuses, which is uh, similar to entertainment. That's why everywhere you go, you know, you see clubs, you see bars, you know, people are, are, are too... You know, too fixated on what's going on in NFL and the NBA, uh, the World Cup, uh, uh, football, you know, which, you know, America calls it soccer, but really it's called football, right? And then you have uh, other parts of entertainment too, man. Really, that's to get the people's minds off what's really going on, all right? But now we're in the midst of uh, this government shutdown, man. Right, and while this is going on, man, you still gonna have that people that's not affected by it, you know, not not as of yet, to continue on in the BS, the bullshit. All right, continuing the madness here in Babylon, because the only, the only, the only time that these people would ever, uh, would ever care about what's going on you know, around in the world or, or about the situation is when it actually happens to them. You know, they lived in pleasure for so long that they've been undisciplined. Right. Because that's what Babylon breeds. Babylon breeds um, uh, in the, um, it's like they breed um, the manners of um, being undisciplined. They breed uh, carelessness. It breeds just all manner of wickedness, man. Even things that I can't think off the top of my head, but you know that falls along with being careless, being undisciplined, foolish, sottish. Also brings in the uh, the spirit or the vibration of folly, which is the same thing as being foolish. Because folly, like it says in the book of Ecclesiastes, folly is set in great dignity. So the people look at folly as something that's uplifted in the society rather than wisdom. And not just any type of wisdom, all right? Because not speaking about the wisdom that Esau, which that's the true biblical nationality of the so-called white man, not his wisdom that he gives because it's deception. All right? But the wisdom of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, which that's his, his true name. The true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and the Son's name, Yahweh Shai. All right? That's the wisdom that's able to make you rich. But the people don't consider that. They consider that, you know, the riches of this world, you know, the things that are, that are um, physical, that you can hold in your hands, you know, tan the tangible things, they think that 
that's what's looked at high in society. You know, what you have, your possessions. Not knowing that it's going to come a point in time where all of this is, is going to go away. You know, this this dream world that our people, Israel, which consists of the, primarily the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, they're going to realize that this dream world that they've been living in has all been a lie. And once it all falls through, when all hell breaks loose and they lose their jobs, you know, lose their stability, you know, that staff and that stay, like it speaks about in Isaiah, the third chapter, that's when they're going to wake up, all right, and realize that this society was never formed, all right? But by then, it's going to be too late. Why? Because it's going to come a point in time where this current system that you see is going to is going to uh meet its downfall it's going to go down and it's going to be propped up so to speak by this technology that we're coming into which is known as the um the microchip technology which is known in the bible as the mark of the beast all right see right now you know as i'm speaking on this topic all these, all these um, points that I'm making in this video is just goes to show you that these people are, are being prepped for the slaughter. All right, and it's only a matter of time before once they're fully prepped, you know, fattened, you know, they uh, been dressed, and then that's when they're going to be slaughtered. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and jump into the scriptures. This is the book of Daniel, the fifth chapter. Uh, I'm going to start at the 24th verse. I'm going to get straight to the point. It says, Then was the part of the hand sent from him, and this writing was written. I like it. Uh, and this writing was written, and this is the writing that was written. Mene, Mene, Tekel Ufarsin. All right. So this is the interpretation of the thing. Mene. And guess what? It said it twice. So peep that out. Right? It said it twice. It said this is the interpretation of the thing. Mene. The Most High hath numbered thy kingdom and finished it. Right? Now, mind you, it said it twice. The reason why it was written twice is because back then, that was the ancient Babylon that met its end and it met its end by uh, the Medes alright which later was integrated into the Persian Empire alright so when they met their end that's when part of this was fulfilled alright the part where it says Mene alright where it says the most high numbered thy kingdom and finished it so he did finish the ancient Babylon but guess what he written it down twice so the second Mene right is talking about the current Babylon the Babylon that is set up right now, which is what you see erected today, which is known as America. All right. So this prophecy here is uh you can say it's twofold, all right, because it did happen back during the time of the ancient Babylonian Empire, but guess what? It's happening again in the new Babylon. All right. So it says Mene Mene, right? Which says the most high have numbered thy kingdom and finished it. Tekel, thou art weighed in the balances and are found wanting. All right. Now, that word wanting right there. And by the way, before I even um, bring bring out the wanting, is that the Lord said um, they were weighed in the balance. All right. You know how you have a, a courtroom and you have a proceeding, right? And then you have the uh, accounts or the uh, evidence, basically the prosecution. You know, you did this, you did that. Uh, this is all, all these things are being counted against Babylon. All right. So guess what? Babylon is being weighed in the balance. The things that's going on here right now, because the Lord is witnessing every single thing that's going on right now. All right. So they've been weighed in the balance. And they've been found wanting, right? So 
the um, the key point is that since they've been weighed in the balance, right? And they've been found undisciplined. So all these things that you see right now is it, it's, it's a product of being undisciplined. That's why you're seeing things deteriorate. Why? Because this place is undisciplined. The people that live here are, are undisciplined. All right. And I'll slot it. Give me just one moment. Kind of. Yeah, I had to park for a second. That's lucky. Um, so getting back into it. Turn this on. Bear me for one moment. So reading it again, it says, uh, Tekel, thou art weighed in the balances and are found wanting. Right? They found undisciplined. Their works that these people show, show that they are. Okay? It says, um, Perez, thy kingdom is divided and given to the Medes and Persians. Now, there's a key point I want to bring out with that. Because like I mentioned before, that happened back in the ancient Babylonian Empire, but there's Well, a scripture I want to get real quick to show you that that's also talking about right now because the modern day Medes today are known as the Russians okay and I'm gonna prove it to you Isaiah the 13th chapter in the uh, 17th verse it says behold I will stir up the Medes against them which shall not regard silver and as for gold they shall not delight in it their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb their eyes shall not spare children and Babylon the glory of kingdoms the beauty of the Chaldees excellency right this is this is their product this is this is what they created. All right. This is their mainstay. So the beauty of the child of excellency shall be as when the most high overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. In the way that the, the most high, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah was by way of fire and brimstone. Which is the same thing that's going to happen to America. Okay. Why? Because, like we read earlier, Right. Whereas uh, verse 27 says, Tekel, thou art weighed in the balances and are found wanting. Right. That's the reason why this place is going to meet its end by way of thermonuclear destruction. Okay. Now I want to bring out another key point concerning uh, the kingdom is given over to the Medes. Is that. Uh, should be in the book of Jeremiah. It's Jeremiah the fiftieth chapter, in the uh, verse nine, it says, "For lo, I will call, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country, and they shall set themselves in array against her. From then she shall be taken. Their arrows, right? Their arrows, which the modern day arrow today is talking about the missile, all right, or the ICBM missiles. Okay, shall be as of a mighty expert man." None shall return in vain, and Chaldea shall be a spoil. All that spoil her shall be satisfied, said Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. So when this place is, go, is going down, everyone's going to be satisfied, man. I'm not talking about you Americans, because you Americans are going to get taken in this uh, coming destruction, all right? So when these other nations see your downfall, they're going to be satisfied, all right? Yeah, they're going to lose their place in... in um, they're going to lose their, their place in, 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 in trade, you know, so to speak. And they're going to be subject under us, the Israelites. But at the end of the day, they're going to be satisfied. You know, they're going to be glad that we're back in rulership, you know, so that the earth can live again. All right. 
because the nations they they're gonna have their own thing. You know they're gonna uh, have their their own inheritance, so to speak. You know, while Esau's not gonna have anything. Okay, but the thing is that they're gonna have to pay tribute. All right, they're gonna be tributaries to us, and a portion of their possessions is gonna be given over to us. All right, and that's fair and just. You know, because the Most High really could care less about these other nations but still we need subjects <laughs> all right we need subjects we need slaves man we need we need someone there to fill that role man all right now uh, i want to bring out another precept this is uh, ecclesiastes the uh actually it's like let me see if i can get it from here let me say ecclesiastes 10th chapter All right, it's the book of Ecclesiastes, uh, chapter 10, verse 6. It says, Folly is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in low place. And that's right. Folly is set in great dignity, man. Things that are that are, are, are foolish. Things that, you know, that's what that's why comedy is is is, is on an all-time high, man. That's why all these, you know, I would say about a good a good chunk of these movies that come out, you know, and these shows that come out. Is based on what comedy, all right? It's either uh, regular comedy, romantic comedy, you know, uh, or any other sorts of comedy, man. And that's all what that's all they're showing now, man. All right, let's go to show you that uh, folly is set in great dignity, okay? And the rich sit in low place. So the, the rich is talking about us. The rich is us who dwells with wisdom. Wisdom of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. So therefore, since we have this wisdom, and we're, when we're bringing it out to the rest of the elect of the nation of Israel, we sit in a low place because of that, man. Because the world sees this wisdom as an attack on what they were brought up uh, were brought up into, the wisdom that they were taught in these uh, fool systems. All right. Everything that they've been told was a lie. You know, they, they, they can't accept it. They can't accept the truth that what they've been told has been a complete lie. And what we're telling them is, is the truth and it's wisdom and they can't accept it. And, you know, it's rightfully so because the Lord put the spirit on them, the spirit on them not to accept it. All right. Now, um. Uh, Okay, it's the book of Isaiah, the 47th chapter. I'm going to start at the 11th verse. And really, this is going to the elites of Esau, the so-called white man. But look at this. It's like here. Yeah, it's really going to the elites of Esau, right? And this is the book of Isaiah, the 47th chapter, 11 verse. It says, Therefore shall evil come upon thee, thou shalt not know from whence it riseth, and mischief shall fall upon thee, thou shalt not be able to put it off. And, and really, the, the reason behind all these things that you see right now, bread and circus, folly being set in great, then it really is at the, the, uh, the watch of these elites. All right? Because this is, like it says, I read earlier in the book of Isaiah, right, about the child deeds excellency. The modern day child D's is talking about the elites, the elites of Esau, or should I say the so-called elites of Esau. Those are the modern day Chaldeans. All right. If you go into that word Chaldean, it means magician or trickster. Okay. Deception. So it said once again, it says, therefore shall evil come upon thee. Thou shalt not know from whence it riseth and mischief shall fall upon thee. Thou shalt not be able to put it off. And desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. All right. So when it comes, they're not going to know from whence it cometh. All right. Because guess what? The, like the scripture says, so the Lord is going to return as a thief in the night. All right. And when he returns as a thief in the night, no one's going to be prepared for that, man. I mean, when I mean, when I say no one, I'm talking about these people. All right. Because the elect are watching right now. Okay. The elect are the ones that's on their watch 
all right which lord's will we're part of that, that hopefully late number we're on the watch and we'll continue to watch for the lord to return man while these people are enjoying their lives or should i say their, their pathetic lives should i say in this in this life that they live in you know in that that wonderland that they live in guess what when the time comes the lord is going to come back and just cast